The Allen County Election Board is now reviewing complaints filed against 27 candidates. A city council candidate filed them yesterday and is calling for those candidates to withdraw from their races. But as News Channel 15's Alyssa Ivinson learned today, some say it's too late. It's about principle, and it's about procedures, and it's about processes. There's, there's things that are supposed to be done in a specific way. 40 violation complaints filed against 27 candidates running for city office. Whenever I began looking at the seriousness of the mistakes of the incumbents, that's whenever I decided, wow, something really does need to be done here. Democratic City Council at large candidate Gina Burgess filed the allegations. The complaints range from claiming candidates didn't include all their economic interests to not using the right name. The standard is whatever is on your birth certificate is what is supposed to be on your CAN 42 form. But Andy Downs with the Mike Downs Center for Indiana Politics and a former election board member says some of the complaints come from a misunderstanding of the law. She would have read the next subsection. She would have seen that nicknames are a perfectly acceptable thing to have on the ballot. Burgess is asking that the candidates in question voluntarily remove themselves from the ballot to avoid a perjury charge, which is a Class D felony. But ballots are already set and early voting has started. It is not possible to get names off the ballot. That's a part of the problem. Also, there are deadlines by which these complaints have to be filed, and those deadlines passed a long time ago. Burgess says the election board mishandled a complaint filed earlier this year by mayoral candidate David Roach. The board had a hearing, did take a candidate off the ballot, dismissed the rest. Roach is now appealing in court. Burgess wants the board to revisit Roach's allegations before the primary, and then she said she'd drop her complaints. Even though they are valid, because I do believe that the election board will be more vigilant in the future, um, but this other case needs to stop being in, le in legal limbo, and that case needs to move on. An election board member told us they do have Burgess's complaints and are deciding if there's enough merit to have a hearing. In Fort Wayne, Alyssa Ivinson, News Channel 15.